In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to the celebration of Eucharist on this third Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Wherever you may be, from your own prayer space to the parish family prayer space of this beautiful church, together with Father Josh and myself, we pray for each one of you. We bring all your intentions onto this altar of the Lord. Take a moment to bring ourselves in the presence of God, a God who loves us unconditionally. Let us acknowledge our unworthiness to approach this altar. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, you. We, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to them as I told you to. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was a city great beyond compare. It took three days to cross it. Jonah went on into the city, making a day's journey. He preached in these words, Only forty days more, and Nineveh, is going to be destroyed. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least. God saw their efforts to renounce their evil behaviour, and God relented. He did not inflict on them the disaster which he had threatened. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach, Teach me, me your ways, ways, O Lord. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Saviour. Teach, Teach me your, your ways, ways, O Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. In your love remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. 
He teaches his way to the poor. Teach Teach me your ways, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, our time is growing short. Those who have wives should live as though they have none. And those who mourn should live as though they have nothing to mourn for. Those who are enjoying life should live as though there is nothing to laugh about. Those whose life is buying things should live as though they have nothing of their own. And those who have to deal with the world should not become engrossed in it. I say this because the world as we know it is passing away. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Believe the good news. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. As he was walking along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I'll make you into fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in their boat, mending their nets. He called them at once, and leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the men that he employed, They went after him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's readings reminds us of a sense of urgency and a shortness of our time in this world. When I look at these two candles, the candle just in front of me is burning like like a sense of urgency. They are creating a lot of smoke. On the other, I can't see smoke of that sort there. The urgency is to bring light, brightness in the darkness of our life. And the urgency is because the kingdom of God is at hand. So we have no time to waste. We have no time to wait. We need to act. Jesus is calling us to a familial, a family atmosphere, a relationship of that sort. He is creating a family of his own by inviting disciples. He is inviting each one of us to a family to pray together, to walk together, to work together, to eradicate the darkness in this world. And he is saying, the kingdom of God is at hand. God is not only calling us to something, but he is also calling us away from something. He is calling us to a new job, from a familiar job. Look at the disciples. They were fishing, mending nets. That was a familiar thing for them. Now he is calling them from that familiar job and say, come, I will make you fishers of men. Very unfamiliar territory. And that's how God is always. 
He is inviting us to come out of our comfort zone, to our unfamiliar territory, trusting in God, knowing God walks with you. When he says, follow me, he is not running away. He is there with you. Sometimes we run away and we don't see his presence. So today he is inviting us. Follow me. I'm there. I'm there with you walking in your ups and downs. You may be unfamiliar in that territory, but I am there to support you. And that sort of a calling is that Jesus extends to each one of us. A calling to take people more seriously than things in this world. It's hard. We take things in this world as a priority, as our own precious things. But sometimes we fail to recognize, acknowledge people around us, value them as human beings as we are, created in the image and likeness of God. So a calling to that greatness to consider human people as important in your life than things in your life. And he is inviting us to build a kingdom of God. He said, kingdom of God at hand. It's in you, it's around you, it's up to us to build a beautiful place for everyone to love each other, care for. Would this change our neighborhoods? Would this change the material things in this world? I don't know. But it can certainly change human heart. And the moment the human heart is changed, I'm pretty sure our neighborhood will change. Things and materials in this world will change. So it is up to us. To accept the call of God. God is calling each one of us. Not just Simon, Andrew, Peter, John. No. Every one of us are called to build this kingdom of God. Look at the first reading. City of Nineveh, 40 days. An urgency, shortness of time. The second reading we heard, time is short. We have no time to wait because the kingdom of God is at hand and Jesus invites each one of us to follow him. Follow him to build the kingdom of God, to build a place of love, a place of com uh, compassion, a place of care, a place of concern, a place where we value human beings much more than anything in our life. Am I willing to accept his call? Am I willing to build the kingdom of God? Am I willing to walk with Jesus? Let us profess our faith. We use Apostles' Creed today. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son of the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we come together as one parish family, we ask God to give us the courage to be fishers of men and believe in the good news as we pray. 
for the church that by our lives we give witness that the kingdom of God is close at hand and that we who are the church follow the way of Jesus in all that we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For community, national and international leaders, that in this year of 2021, leaders will strive to address injustices relating to race, gender, poverty, human slavery and climate change. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian unity, that we continually open ourselves to hear the word of God and seek unity with all people who are hearers of the word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Raiden, Zoe and Piper, who will be baptised this weekend. May the celebration of this sacrament bring a renewal and deepening of love. Lord, drive out any forces of evil within us and help us to love one another as God has loved us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healing from the coronavirus and related social upheaval, that vaccinations, medical supplies and hospital care will be available to all people who live in poverty and all whose lives are vulnerable or precarious. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, that homes will be places of peace, free from violence and aggression, places where children are encouraged to recognise and develop their own talents and learn to respect the talents of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all teachers and educators, that their work of educating will enrich and bless their own lives and that their preparation will ensure that those in their care have abundant opportunity to learn and grow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Kathy who passed away this week, may we remember that their pain and sorrow of this world has ended and celebrate their joyful rebirth into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, especially pray for those Christians persecuted all over the world. Lord, give us the gift of a strong faith so that like Simon Peter and Andrew, we may respond to your call with generosity, honesty and courage. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of your wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Wash me, Lord, from my liberty and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is the truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of a being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim every way your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I'll be using today the third Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you a prize. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make a holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Christopher our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family of whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power and glory, glory are yours now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit here apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In an appropriate way, let us acknowledge the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. The Lord of Christ, keep me safe for it and life. This very moment that you are unable to receive Eucharist physically, with a great desire and love, let us invite Jesus spiritually into our hearts. He will make us a temple of a living God. Jesus saw them fishing by the shore of Galilee Casting out their nets into the sea Simon Peter and the sons of Zebedee waiting in their boat so patiently and Jesus said Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. In this year of Saint Joseph, let us pray through Saint Joseph. Hail, a guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Saint Joseph, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us sing.